Hello, I'm James Sylvester from JPS Reliability. We're a specialist condition monitoring team based in the southwest of England. And today I'm going to be introducing our new publication coming out soon. Um, we uh, work in mainly vibration analysis, but we also utilize ultrasound, thermal imaging and lubrication management. Together in a team, we have over 40 years experience in the fields of condition monitoring, practical reliability engineering, maintenance practices. Our main work is we um, do some routine surveys, you know, the traditional contract out reliability services, supporting companies who don't have the resources. But in addition, um, where companies have their own employees, we go in and help out, train, mentor, pass on knowledge to ensure that they're getting the best out of their program. So this is our new book coming out soon. Um, JPS Reliability Limited, Book of Gold, Practical Condition Monitoring Case Studies. So this was really born out of from our first book. So we published a book uh, two years ago-ish called Enhancing Reliability Through Vibration Technology. And that book was aimed at um, a seasoned analyst, VCAT 2, VCAT 3. It was like a revision book type handbook, like a condition monitoring Bible for vibration analysis. So I had all the technical terms written in um, simple layman's terms and always had some case studies in there. Now that book we sent all over the world. We think we've gone about 32 countries now with the book. And the biggest feedback we had was everyone loved the condition monitoring case studies. That's where they saw the gold of us, hence why we've got this book of gold now. Um, basically, we've got a proof copy coming through, which we're going to do a few little tweaks to. Um, so that's the proof copy. It's published by the same company, The Season Analyst. And this is a dust cover. And under the dust cover is the book of gold. Um, unfortunately, it weighs 1.62 kilograms. So it's got the black cough hardback with the gold for writing. We have a ribbon so you can um, remember where you're going. Um, the pages inside, we went for 135 GSM gloss, so they're easy to keep clean. And what that does as well, uh, for example, on, on the images where we got stripped down images from our reports, it actually makes the images sort of jump out of the page. So this is 338 pages. In there, we have 100 vibration case studies vibration data, stripped down reports. Um, we also have 18 thermal imaging real life data as well. So we're hoping that we get the second proof copy within a week or so. And we aim to publish in May and we'll be sending out our first 20 copies all over the globe to Pacific people for promotion. And what I'll do now is I'll just go over the actual content so you can see what, what's actually in the for the contents, we weren't too sure where we were going to split it by industry type, you know, steel, chemical, process. But a defect on a motor in a steel plant can be the same as a defect on the motor on the chemical plant. So we decided to split it into chapters of equipment type. Um, the first two chapters are really important. So the first chapter is basically a common sense pearls of wisdom, wisdoms, how to set up a condition on the program. Chapter two, very important now, especially with all this online IO2 predictive world we're, we're stepping into, is that if you don't measure it, you're never going to see it. So unless you know the defect and you don't sample high enough, you're never going to see it. Then we step into the chapter. So we have chapter three, which is electrical motors and electrical drives. Chapter four, fans, compressors and blowers. Chapter five is pumps. And chapter six is gearboxes and gears. Then we step into crushers, mills, dryers, uh, grinders and centrifuges. Then a couple on paper machines. Um, and quite a big one is um, the Baron EDM chapter because we see multiple EDM defects. Um, and we've sort of collated the ones which are all different. So we've got 12 in there which are all different. Um, then we got our chapter on slow speed bearings, sleep bearings, dynamic vibration absorbers, um, some visual inspections, you know, using your your senses to, to define the defects and then we have 18 thermal imaging examples as well and the last chapter is a few pages just so so you can write some notes i'll show you now uh, a few of the pages inside the book 
So this is the layout, so this is chapter three, electric motors. On our vibration case studies, we'll have some sort of introduction or background, our survey analysis, the vibration data, and then the strip down and what we actually found from the defect. So on this one, for example, here, uh, you can see our bearings, so we stripped it down, so we can find the defect, we, we pull out the microscope, show you all the, the, the images, and we even sort of give you like a fader mode. So you've got the vibration data, the analysis, the defect, stripped down, and, and fader mode. This one here, um, you can see a spectrum, during an inner race, side mounted by one order. We've got the time waveform, which, are, which is really where the gold is. So you can see it modulating at one order at BPFI. And then we got a straight down image of the bearing, which is obviously got spalling and forced Brunellin. Um, another example here is what spectrum, waveform, autocorrelation of the waveform, and some more stripped down images. This one here gives a straight down image of some forced Brunellin. So you, you can actually see we're pointing out the, the, the defects in the bearings. And on there also is another defect we found, which was the, the bottom washer was jammed into the actual bearing. So as you see, we use waveform spectrums and a strip down. And they're all logically done in the same sort of background data, strip down analysis and what happened. And there's some more there. So we've got a sprag clutch, which was found as a defect. This is one of the EDM ones. So you can see the acceleration spectrum, waveform, autocorrelation, and also the defect as well. And at the very back of the book, we try to collate our types of um, thermal imaging defects we find. So these are obviously mechanical process. And then you've got the classic electrical defects as well. Um, so to get this book out, because it weighs so much, we'll be shipping out in bulk to international stockists. So at the moment in the UK, we have the Reliability Maintenance Solution Limited. Australasia with Fire Lives in, USA, Canada, and EU. We've got some contacts just waiting for confirmation. And um, as soon as we get these confirmed and the book's ready and it's out there, we will let you guys know where you can go. Thank you very much for your time.